In this lesson, we'll introduce our data set, look at converting and understanding our qualitative variables, and learn some new dplyr functions. In the previous exercise, we were working with a data set called Multiple Choice Responses. This is a sample of data from the Kaggle 2017 Data Science Survey. Kaggle is an online platform for predictive modeling and analytics competitions. This survey was given to current and aspiring data scientists, analysts, data engineers, and others in the data science field. They got about 16,000 responses on questions ranging from demographic information to the usefulness of different learning platforms to what languages they wanted to use in the coming year. We'll be using this data set throughout the course. Just like with numerical variables, our first step when looking at categorical variables should be to get a high-level summary. Instead of numerical summaries, like the mean and standard deviation, we can look at the number of categories and the name of each. But as we saw when examining our data set, currently some of the variables are characters, not factors. How can we change this? First, we need to identify which columns are characters. We can use is.character for this. Next, we can use the function as.factor to change columns from characters to factors. If we want to do this for all character columns, we can take advantage of dplyr's mutateIf function. This function takes two arguments. The first needs to be a function that returns true or false. MutateIf will check each column to see if that condition is true and, if so, will change the column based on the second argument. Once our columns are factors, we want to find out more about each one. We can use two functions, nLevels and levels. nLevels will give us the number of levels of a factor, and levels will give us their names. What if we want to scale up and check the number of levels for all factor columns in a data set? You've probably used dplyr summarize before to take summary information, like the mean, of a single column. If we want to apply a summary function, meaning one that returns a single number, to all columns that meet a certain condition, we can use dplyr's summarize if. This works just like mutate if. We first check if the column is a factor and, if it is, get the number of levels. Time to put this into practice. 